Our tale begins in 1944, when Estonia was incorporated into the Soviet Union. The maritime boundary between Estonia and Russia was not a concern then, as they were part of the same entity. Fast forward to 1991. The Soviet Union disintegrated, and Estonia regained its independence. The previously disregarded maritime boundary now became a point of contention. In 2005, Estonia and Russia signed a border treaty, defining their terrestrial and maritime boundaries. However, due to disagreements over historical issues and Estonia's references to Soviet occupation, Russia withdrew its signature later that same year. The boundary dispute simmered for almost a decade. Then, in 2014, both countries signed the treaty again. But this time, Estonia refrained from making any controversial historical references. It seemed like the issue was finally put to rest. But was it? In reality, the maritime boundary issue has never truly been resolved. The Baltic Sea, where the disputed boundary lies, is a key strategic area. It's a gateway to the heart of Europe and a region rich in resources. So, what's the current situation? Despite the signed treaty, the boundary dispute remains a source of tension. Various incidents involving naval vessels and fishing boats from both countries have occurred near the disputed area. This maritime boundary dispute is not just about drawing a line in the sea, it's about national pride, history, geopolitics, and resources. It's a complex issue with no easy solutions. In summary, the Estonia-Russia maritime boundary dispute began after Estonia's independence from the Soviet Union in 1991. The contentious issue seemed to have been resolved in 2014 with the signing of a border treaty. However, the dispute has persisted due to the strategic importance of the Baltic Sea and unresolved historical issues. The Estonia-Russia maritime boundary is more than a line in the water. It's a symbol of the intricate interplay between history, politics, and geography. It serves as a reminder that even in an increasingly interconnected world, old disputes can continue to shape the present and future. But let's not lose hope. History has shown us that even the most contentious disputes can be resolved through dialogue and mutual respect.